Have you ever wondered why flamingos are pink? This question may seem simple at first, but the answer takes us on a journey into the intriguing world of flamingos. Our story begins with a surprising fact. Flamingos are not born pink. That's right. When these birds first hatch from their eggs, they are actually a dull gray or white color. So how do they transform into the vibrant pink creatures we all recognize and love? The answer lies in what they eat. Flamingos feast on a diet of brine shrimp and blue-green algae. These tiny organisms are abundant in the saline and alkaline lakes where flamingos thrive. But these shrimp and algae aren't just a source of nutrition for the flamingos, they are also rich in beta-carotene, a natural pigment that gives carrots their orange color. As flamingos consume these shrimp and algae, they ingest the beta-carotene. Over time, this pigment starts to accumulate in the flamingos' feathers, skin, and even their beaks and legs. The more they eat, the more beta-carotene they ingest, and the pinker they become. It's a process that can take up to three years to complete, but the result is the iconic pink flamingo we all know. But why pink? Why not blue or green or any other color? That's a question scientists are still trying to answer. Some believe that the pink color may help flamingos camouflage in their pinkish salt lake habitats. Others suggest that a bright pink color could be a sign of good health and a way for flamingos to attract mates. Whatever the reason, one thing is clear. The pink color of flamingos is a testament to their unique diet and lifestyle. It's a reminder of the intricate and fascinating connections that exist in nature, where even something as simple as the food a bird eats can have such a profound impact on its appearance. So, flamingos are pink because they eat pink. An amazing fact, isn't it? Did you know that flamingos are social butterflies? It's true, these pink feathered birds are not the solitary type. No, they much prefer the company of their kin, living in large colonies that can number in the thousands. You'll rarely spot a lone flamingo, and there's a reason for that. Living in such large communities provides flamingos with a multitude of benefits. One major advantage is safety. With so many eyes scanning the horizon, it's much harder for predators to sneak up on the unsuspecting birds. If one flamingo spots danger, it can alert the whole colony and they can quickly take to the skies to escape. It's a fantastic example of the old adage, there's safety in numbers. But it's not just about avoiding predators. These large colonies also offer a more efficient way to find food. Flamingos are filter feeders sifting through the muddy waters of their habitats to dine on shrimps, algae and other small organisms. When they feed as a group, they stir up the mud and bring more food to the surface. It's like a grand feast where everyone is invited. And while we're on the topic, let's not forget about the social interactions within these colonies. From synchronized group dances that are a sight to behold to the intricate rituals of courtship, flamingos have a rich and complex social structure. They communicate with each other using a range of vocalizations and body language just like we humans do. So the next time you see a flamboyance of flamingos, yes, that's what a group of flamingos is called, a flamboyance. Remember that they're not just standing around looking pretty, they're part of a thriving, bustling community, each bird playing its part in the greater whole. Imagine a single flamingo colony can outnumber a small town. That's right, these birds are true socialites, demonstrating the power and beauty of community living in the animal kingdom. So let's raise a wing to the flamingos, the social butterflies of the bird world. Ever asked yourself why flamingos often stand on one leg? Well, it's one of those nature riddles that have had scientists scratching their heads for years. But don't worry, we're not leaving you hanging with just a question. We've got some answers too. You see, the one-legged stance of flamingos, while seemingly a marvel of balance, is an intriguing example of how creatures adapt to their environment in the most unexpected ways. Picture this. You're a flamingo living in some of the harshest and coldest aquatic environments. You're surrounded by water, but you've got to keep warm. What do you do? Here's where evolution comes into play. Over countless generations, flamingos have developed a rather ingenious method to conserve body heat. By tucking one leg beneath their body, they reduce the amount of heat lost through their thin, long legs. This behavior is essentially a biological thermostat, a natural mechanism that helps these birds maintain their body temperature in cold water. But there's more to the story. This one-legged stance doesn't just help flamingos stay warm, it also saves energy. 
According to a study, flamingos expend less energy standing on one leg than they do on two. So it's not just about heat, it's also about efficiency. One might wonder, isn't it hard to balance on one leg? Well, for flamingos, it's as easy as pie. Their unique skeletal structure and the position of their joints make it easier for them to stand on one leg than on two. So there you have it. The next time you see a flamingo gracefully balancing on one leg, remember that it's not just showing off its acrobatic skills. This unique behavior is an incredible adaptation, a testament to the flamingo's ability to thrive in challenging environments. It's a subtle reminder of how nature always finds a way, even in the face of adversity. Standing on one leg isn't just a balancing act, it's a survival technique. Oh, did you know that flamingos are excellent builders? Yes, you heard it right. These seemingly delicate birds are not only known for their vibrant pink feathers and iconic one-legged stunts, but also for their remarkable nest-building skills. The nature of a flamingo's home is an incredible testament to their hard work and resilience. Their nests are not just some haphazardly thrown together pile of twigs. No, these are meticulously crafted structures made from a blend of mud, small stones, straw and feathers. This combination of materials is not chosen at random, but is an ingenious solution that ensures their nests are sturdy and durable. Flamingos are quite particular about their nesting sites. They often choose areas that are slightly submerged underwater, creating an island of sorts. This location choice adds an extra layer of protection against predators who would have to swim or wade through the water to reach them. Their nests take the form of a mound with a hollow at the top where the egg is laid. This design is not just for aesthetic purposes but serves a very practical function. The height of the mound, usually more than a foot tall, is specifically designed to protect their single precious egg from the dangers of flooding. Now, building such an elaborate structure is no small feat, especially considering the size of these birds, but flamingos are nothing if not determined. They use their beaks to painstakingly gather and pile up the materials, creating these mounds one beakful at a time. It's a laborious process that can take weeks to complete, but the end result is well worth the effort. So next time you see a flamingo, remember they're not just pretty faces. They are hardworking, resourceful and incredibly skilled builders. Their nests are a testament to their perseverance and ingenuity. Who knew that these elegant birds are also master architects? Flamingos are indeed fascinating, aren't they? We've journeyed together through the intriguing world of these vibrant birds and discovered some astonishing facts. Their flamboyant pink hue, a direct result of their shrimp-rich diet, is a testament to nature's palate. Their social behavior, from synchronized group dances to forming large colonies, showcases their intricate community dynamics. The mystery of their one-legged stance, a clever strategy to conserve heat, has been a subject of intrigue and admiration, and let's not forget their nest-building prowess. These master builders create towering mounds using just their beaks, providing a safe haven for their young ones. So as we draw this exploration to a close, it's clear that flamingos are far more than just a pretty face in the animal kingdom. Their fascinating characteristics and behaviors make them a marvel of nature. Next time you see a flamingo, remember, there's more to these birds than just their vibrant color. They truly are one of nature's most fascinating creations.